and welcome to Kate's Egg. In this week's video, I am finishing up disking and my dad even takes a drive in the tractor to see how I did. Would you like me to go over it again? Good. Come down to this coolie, turn around and be up by the road and then turn in and go down that thing from closer to the road if you can. You know what I mean? Yes. My dad wants me to get more of this big part of the coolie done. And Where the culvert is the thing we're not going to get. Yeah, that would be bad. I can have my RPMs up a little bit more now. Get in there, Kate. You're going to turn right, go down that coolie, and when you get to the bottom, you go across, turn around, and come back up the other side, you know, a little bit further than you did. Oh boy, this is fun. Turn around and go back up that other thing. You plow that little thing up right where you're at. Go back up the other side of the one with the culvert, okay? Go ahead and put it in now. The disc is in. <laughs> when you get up, take it up as far as you can, Kate, and then just pull out to the right and then lift up. to hit him. That's not nearly as bad now, so I definitely hope that cool you out. All right, I picked my desk up. Remember to plow through the stuff that you've already plowed, remember, so you don't pack it down. Yes. All right, I'm going to get ready to put my plow back in. Yes, go up and cross that other coolie right where it goes by the road up there. Take a right, go up along the road and plow through that up on top. Take a right, right. Wait, right. I am taking a right. Gotta get my RPMs and right up it go. Nice soft turn right there, plow all the way through it and then lift up. Okay, I don't want you to plow through that. I just realized that. Do you want oh, me to go up, go left, and then turn right and come back and plow through there like you're supposed to. All the way across into that thing. Don't get into the ditch, you know, edge along the ditch there. That far? And now lift up and go a little way straight ahead. And do a little teardrop around there and come back in just on the edge and plow up more towards me on the next path across there. And then when you get across, lift up and come down by the pickup and I'll show you where to go. By your pickup. Cooley runs down by my behind my pickup gate, but you can see it where the combine's had trouble with the coolie. Now go left. Angle left a little bit. I go left over to the coolie there. And then come down right behind my pickup, plowing it up. That's when you might get in the middle of because it ain't very big. Alright, my dad just said to get in the middle of this coolie. I don't even no, I mean, I'm thinking this is it right here, but there's nothing to sink my plow into yet, so I'm not going to. You want me to sink my plow in just a little bit up here? Sink it in. I want it all plowed up there. Plow it. got something going on here so maybe I'll just run through this too. When that coolie quits Kate you can just lift it up and then go right a little bit. Alright so I got the major coolies disked up so that's awesome and I did okay so I'm pretty happy about that. 
Head kind of on down the field there, Kate, and we'll find something to put it in. Now my dad's going to check on what I did. What are your thoughts from the pickup, Dad? There was one part up there that I had problems. And as you can see here, Darcy set this up. So thank you, Darcy. And all the blue is where I was disking. So when we go seating with this tractor, it'll paint. And then all the rest is not. So that's one of our John Deere screens. But here's what the disc looks like from the back. Yeah, what it does cloud it's all the way down here. Oh, yeah, I was just looking at that and I couldn't tell for sure, but now that you mention it. There's a little dog, aw. See, so you skipped right here. See yeah. And then, then once in a while, when we come back over, we drag more of the disc over and so it levels it more out. So I skipped a lot of places? Well, no. This thing was deep. You just, this, you have to work these out. Oh, I see the spirals of dirt. This was scary. Oh my gosh. When I was going through this when it was full, it was, and I missed that little tiny bit see, up here, it looks and like. Although you dig a little bit up, crossing over like this. It helps it? Well, it's going to move the dirt around a little bit. I just didn't want to hurt the disc, so I didn't know. No, but I mean, I'm just afraid you're going to hook that or the culvert. Just slow it down with the throttle. Ah! Okay. And if you're crossing these and it's washed out, it's going to be rough. Don't turn shoot super sharp with this either. You'll hook it with the tire. Okay, we're dropping it in now. And see, I'm running the tire along the edge of the wash out. Okay, the front of this disc is shorter than the back. So you got to be careful. And in, in that deal, we're done with this, so we just lift it up. We turn out, not super sharp cake, because you don't have to. Keep an eye on your thing so you're not overdoing it, you know what I mean? Yes. And anytime you see these, where these two hills meet, where these two hills meet. There's a coolie. Well, yeah, but is it washed out? Don't do them if they're not washed out. So we only want the action that's necessary and not any other. There's really no wash out here yet, you know what I mean? Right. But over here, it's not going to be like that. Don't run into the post. Know that the back end's wider than the front end. To drag stuff in to cover the cut from the front. Point down that way and then we'll drop our disc. Don't drive into the wheat. Don't drive on the wheat. This is spring wheat here, Kate, so it's not at all headed out. Not all this is washed out here, Kate. But we'll take, we'll take it down and around the corner and just see what's going on. See how big chunks him? That's, yes. That's bad stuff. We don't want any more of that than we have, have to have. This won't make it perfect, but it'll help when we drag the drills across this. You know? Some of these other ones you couldn't cross with the drills because it gets the tires and break them off. Okay, now I'm going to drive the tractor back to the road. So let's see. Clutch in. Now I'm in gear. Okay, now RPMs come up a little bit. And my dad told me I could start like shifting a little bit to get a feel for the tractor, how it shifts and what that feels like. We're in seventh gear right now. There's six, nine. Well, that was super fun. And then dad kind of went over the coolies again because you have to go over them a lot of times and he kind of just checked out what I did and also gave me instruction on how to do a better job next time I have the opportunity. Yeah, I, I want to disc this thing out too. To disc? You know, okay. Right here, Let's see. where my pickup is now. I see you. We'll, we'll, we'll want our heads this one, you know, there's a little turn to this thing and it doesn't go very far, but we'll work this out left, right, you know, and then come back. Okay, so. That's this first lever here. When I lower the disc, I think I, I see the coolie. Okay, so I'm going to drive a little bit this way and lower the disc when I see the coolie kind of start. Yeah, go up a little bit up on top of it, Kate, so you're entering it more straight. Go up to the right and then come down on it. You can see where it is, where all that straw is so ratty over there. Stay on the right side of that and then come back up the left. We might do it twice, 
I have to be careful with this one because it has a big turn. Oh, I probably got some chunks there. All right, disc comes up, tear dropping the corner. And now I'm coming back up the other side so that I can fill in the coolie. Okay. Oh my gosh, the drone! Now I'm going a little more down the middle of it just to move the dirt around. Alright, I just finished that coolie. Take it down by the road, Kate. Down by the poles next to the gravel road. Let's see. The poles are... Okay, I see where they are. Oh my gosh, my dad's just driving and droning at the same time. He's pretty skilled at it and he has a lot of fun and it's incredible, the drone footage. There's one over here too in front of my pickup. Turn your tractor to the right, Kate. I think my dad found another coolie. Can you see this thing in front of me where the straw gets long? I can see it, I just don't see where it starts. Then take that whole thing down, back up, down the center again, just like always. Where does, oh, it starts right here. Well, up closer to the road. You can see it, it starts up there, right in that little low end of there. You see it there, right? I think I see it. It gets a lot steeper, and then the straw gets narrower, or I mean longer, you know, where they couldn't cut it. Yeah, I see that. Right there, turn around, come back down on it. Now there's really nothing there. See where it starts to be in the field. Drop it in a little bit before you get there and run that edge down. Come up on the other edge, you know, whatever, whatever. Go down, it falls into that other coolie where your other tracks are, Kate. Okay, go down that far and then turn around and come back. Kind of turn around and go right back down to where you turned around last time and then come to the road. I'll be sitting over by the approach. Yeah, just head straight down that road up to the approach gate, and I'll, I'll be up there, okay? Kind of close to this power pole, I can see. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take the tractor back to the schoolhouse and park. Okay. Now I'm going to do a little tractor walk around to show you what it, the tractor looks like with the disc attached. This is a 9630 John Deere that my dad recently purchased. It's definitely not new, it's old. So this is the front of the tractor. It's got duals on it. So really, really huge wheels. I'm five foot two and they're taller than me. I just can't believe it, can you? All right, so this is the disc. This is where the hydraulics are hooked up. Then you've got where your disc is attached. And this is the wings, this part right here that's just folded up. So this is what it kind of looks like. It's got little wheels and those wheels are for when the disc is on the ground, the wings are on the ground. And then it's got these wheels, which are its travel wheels. What? They're not little wheels. Oh, dad says they're not little. And I guess that would be very true. They're still very big, but they're smaller than the tractor wheels. How do you feel about disking today? And do you think uh, we did a good job and accomplished what we needed to? Uh, probably. I gotta see what this is. All right, now I'm going back up to get my Kate's egg tote and then I'm going to drive the pickup and my dad's going to drive this back to the schoolhouse. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about how your food gets to your table. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more awesome videos. And you can follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on Pinterest, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, pretty much everywhere else. And you can also go to the Kate's Egg website, K-A-T-E-S-A-G dot com. Thank you for watching. Bye.